even though you can't hear each other, please do join me in saying Amen after I say in Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to come before you in repentance and faith, acknowledging our weaknesses and the many wrongs we have committed before you. We will take a few moments of silence while we bring to mind and repent of our own particular recent sins. Lord Jesus, we pray for your faithful servant Mary Anfield. Thank you that her hip operation went well and that she is up and walking again. Thank you that in your mercy you have provided a place at Kirkella Mansions for her to convalesce. We pray, Lord, for a smooth transition from hospital to care home and that you would protect her during the move from picking up any infections, particularly COVID-19. Lord, Please would you keep Mary in good spirits and trusting only in you. We also pray for the many others amongst our church family who are vulnerable to infection due to age or underlying health conditions. Lord, would you protect and preserve them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask that in your mercy you would teach each one of us truly what it means to participate in Christ's sufferings and become like him in his death. Would you show each of us where you want us to change and how to bear our own particular crosses. Please would you help us, like Paul, to forget what is behind and press onwards towards the goal. Father, life feels uncertain and uncomfortable at the moment. But in these times, please would you help us to remember and cling on to the one certainty that we do have, that if we are trusting in you, then you have prepared a place for us at the great banqueting table in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Precious Lord, we lift up to you our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. We thank you that he has been moved out of intensive care and we ask that he would make a full and speedy recovery and suffer no lasting effects of COVID-19. Lord, we pray for wisdom, patience, courage and against discord for all of Cabinet over the coming months as they face very difficult circumstances and make some tricky decisions. Father, we confess that we are amazed by the bravery of the thousands of NHS and other frontline staff who serve the people of our nation faithfully every day during the crisis. Please would you bless their service by providing supernatural protection for them and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for Mike and Joe Griffiths, still serving you faithfully in Myanmar after 17 years. We thank you that you have sustained them for this long that they have not grown stale and that you are still teaching them new and exciting things through their experiences. Thank you that 2019 was a year in which they were able to look forwards and plan out the next stages of their service in this country. We pray particularly for their continuing trust in you following the postponement of their UK visit which was supposed to take place from March to June. We ask that you would help them navigate wisely through the uncertainty that this has generated and, even though they cannot physically leave the country, that they would be able in some way to take a step back and reflect. We thank you for Mike's hard work last year in reviewing and improving curricula and teaching materials for the relaunch of the Healthy Church course and manuals in February of this year. We ask that the improvements would provide further encouragement and sustenance for pastors and their churches around the Mandalay area. We thank you that, following Mike and Joe's relocation in 2019, the Pan Nan Ein group that Joe left behind has continued to flourish and remain faithful to you, even in Joe's absence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Finally, Lord, we pray for Dave, Emma and Joshua Moore, currently travelling back from Papua New Guinea via San Francisco and Vancouver. We thank you that you have graciously provided a route home for them and ask that you would bring them home safely and virus free. Please would you provide a time of rest, recuperation and family for them while they're in the UK. We lift all these prayers to you. In Jesus' name. Amen.